Hey you guys and welcome to the 12 days of Christmas. I'm so excited for this year's 12 days of Christmas. I have been doing this I think for about four years. This might be my fourth year of doing the 12 days of Christmas and it's basically for the next 12 days every day in a row I'm going to be posting a video. I'm just starting to film them like this is one of the first videos that I am filming for the series so I'm just getting started. It's still November when I'm filming it but I set up all of my Christmas decorations, well almost all of my Christmas decorations today. It's been a day. I've been just like trying to get it all done in one day. I don't have a big apartment but I just feel like getting Christmas decorations up is always a struggle for me. But it's only November 13th today. I set up early this year. I just felt like I needed Christmas to come a little bit early. But I hope you guys enjoy the series. Thank you guys as always for watching. It has been such a fun year. Thank you for supporting my channel. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. mention what we were doing today in the intro but we're doing my favorite lipsticks for the winter. I did a similar video last year but I think I called it holiday favorite holiday lipsticks. This year I wanted to do something that was just favorite winter lipsticks. I'll be swatching everything on the back of my hand and on my lips in this video. So my first lipstick is the well it's actually a lip balm kind of. It's the Just a Tint ColourPop lipstick in the shade Give Me S'more. This is just such a pretty color for the winter time. It's kind of like a nude pink, like a very soft nude pink. And the reason I love it so much, not just for the shade because it does tend to match me better in the winter, but also because of the formula. It's so comfortable. It doesn't dry out my lips. It just feels nice on the lips when the days are getting colder, my lips are getting drier. I don't think I'm going to have the problem this year, but Last year when I was going to and from work in the morning and at night it was freezing cold and my lips would just crack. This is a great option if you are prone to very dry or cracked lips or if you just live in a colder, drier climate. This is an amazing formula and I love the shade as well because I think this type of nude, like this pinky nude, the nudes that I prefer to wear in the winter time. Next we have the Physicians Formula Rose Kiss All Day Velvet Lip Color in the shade Pillow Talk. This is one of my favorite lipsticks. It's a little bit nude, a little bit mauve. It's just that perfect <laughs> my lips but better shade and I love the formula. It is matte and it looks very velvety and soft on the lips. I think this actually would work all year round but I ended up not wearing it that much in the summertime. I just think it didn't look as good with my tanned or more tanned skin but I do love this one all the way through winter and spring. It's just such a lovely color and the formula is amazing. It's so comfortable on the lips. The only negative I think is the smell. It smells like roses. Pretty strong scent so just keep that in mind but other than the smell it's just an amazing lip product and it's definitely one of my all-time favorite lip products. Next we have a nude from Colourpop. This is their Luxe Cream Lipstick in the shade Layover. It's kind of similar I suppose to Pillow Talk but it's just a little bit more brown. It's it's probably not noticeable on the camera. It doesn't have as much of that pinky mauve undertone. I really like this lip product. I think it's comfortable on the lips. I don't think the formula is anything like special or revolutionary. So if you can't get ColourPop where you are, I think you'd be okay with getting Milani or Maybelline or NYX. I think all of those are great options. This formula is nothing special, but I do love this shade. It's so, so pretty. I didn't wear it in the summer, so I feel like it's definitely more of that like wintry nude for me. We have a liquid lipstick. This is a recent fave, but I think it's amazing. It's the XX Revolution Satin Liquid Lipstick in the shade ticket. It's gonna probably look really similar in color to, oh it's like almost the exact same color actually to the layover. But this formula is amazing. It is so comfortable on the lips. I just love the way my lips look when I wear this product. I feel like I've been wearing it it in a lot of videos lately because it just looks so nice and my lips are pretty small and I feel like this product for some reason makes them look a little bit plumper. It could just be me. I might be imagining it but I do feel like it kind of makes my lips look a little bit fuller. Once it dries down it kind of has that same pillowy soft velvet 
finish to it. It's very matte. It's not a satin like it claims. I think it's more of a matte liquid lipstick. It also dries down so it's not going to transfer. It's just all around a great product. It hasn't dried out my lips and I love this shade. If you're going to try out any of the XX Revolution lip products and you're kind of of a similar skin tone to me, definitely try Take It. I think you will end up loving it. It's so, so good. I think it's one of my favorite lipsticks that I'm showing you today. It's probably out of all of these products, it's probably my favorite. And this is the NYX Suede Matte Lipstick in the shade Soft Spoken. I like a bunch of their suede mattes. They are one of my favorite formulas from the drugstore for like bullet lipsticks, but I think Soft Spoken is my favorite shade from them, even more than Lolita. I love Lolita, such a good shade as well, but I feel like Soft Spoken has surpassed that one in favorites. Again, it's kind of similar to all of these nudes. I actually just realized they're all kind of similar. They're all kind of similar shades, but just different formulas. Soft Spoken tends to be a little bit more on the purpley side. Like it's definitely more of that dusty mauve shade than like nude, like layover or pinky, like the Physician's Formula one. As soon as like winter hits or I start getting into the winter, Christmassy mode. I just pull soft spoken back out. It's amazing. It's like top five, like maybe even like top three lipsticks of all time. It's so, so good. Moving on to some of the deeper shades, the less like nude shades. I feel like I just overwhelmed you guys with nudes. This one is from e.l.f. It's their Seriously Satin Lipstick in the shade Cider. And this is kind of a newer formula. Like I've tried it this fall only, but I loved it like as soon as I tried it. It's a very comfortable satin lipstick and I love the shade Cider. It's such a neutral everyday shade for me. Like I feel like if I was going to work, I'd be wearing this one almost every day. It's not too much of a brown that like I feel uncomfortable wearing it. it works really well with my skin tone and it's just an amazing formula. It's super affordable and I think the shade is perfect for the winter time. This next one is from Makeup Revolution. It's their powder matte lipstick in the shade Bon Bon. Now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like I mentioned this one last year in my holiday faves. It's just such a perfect raisin rum shade for the winter time. It could be dressed up or dressed down for like every day and it's just a stunning color. Like I love these types of shades. The formula is a little bit more dry, kind of tugs at the lips a little bit. I don't find it uncomfortable. I find it dry, but not uncomfortable. That's why I still wear it in the winter time. But if you're very sensitive, probably don't get this because it is quite a bit drier. Definitely the driest of all the lipsticks that I've shown you so far. We have the e.l.f. Sheer Slick Lipstick in the shade Cherry Slush. I love this formula. I am so sad I didn't get it earlier. Like I wish I had been wearing this all through summer as well. It's an amazing formula. It is super creamy. It's sheer. I just throw Cherry Slush on and I'm not even leaving my house just because I love the way it feels and it looks. I thought about including the shade Golden Pear, which I love. <laughs> even more than Cherry Slush, but I feel like Cherry Slush is a more appropriate for the winter time. Can't wait to wear it with like toques and puffer jackets. Love sheer lipsticks like this. I think they are some of my favorites to wear, especially in the winter when I'm looking for like more hydrating lipsticks, even though like everything I'm showing you is kind of like matte. But when I do want hydrating lipsticks, I love to find drugstore gems like this. Okay, we are almost done. I feel like this video is taking a while, but the next one is a red. It's from Milani. It's their bold statement lipstick in the shade I Am Fierce. It's one of my favorite true reds from the drugstore. I think it's stunning. It's a great formula as well. These tend to be a little bit drier, so if you're looking for something um, from the drugstore that's a little bit more of a moisturizing matte, go for the other Milani matte lipsticks. They're moisture mattes. Those ones are slightly more comfortable, but I just love the shade I Am Fierce, so I wanted to include it. I wanna wear red lipsticks more. I feel like I don't wear them very often, and I definitely want to start wearing them more. I think I might wear this one on Christmas Eve this year. I don't know, it depends on what outfit I'm choosing. It's a stunning shade, a beautiful formula, and I would totally recommend it if you're looking for that perfect drugstore red. I do apologize for my swatches. I don't know. I think I'm just making my swatches too big lately or I'm showing you guys too many lipsticks because I always run out of space. Anyway, the next one is the one I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's not drugstore, but just love it so much. So I figured I would leave it in, especially if you're looking to support smaller businesses this year. This is from Jogia Cosmetics and it's in the shade Monroe. Whenever I have to choose between like a true red and a deeper red, like 
this one in Monroe, I always choose the deeper red. I don't know, I just find it more comfortable, kind of less intimidating, I guess, to wear. This dries down perfectly matte on your lips. It's transfer proof. It's pretty long wearing. It doesn't fade ugly. It doesn't crumble or crack on my lips. The shade is just like the perfect snow white red. I actually think I might wear this one for Christmas Eve. Now, I, I don't know. I'm gonna choose between one of these and now I feel like I might choose Monroe. If you know of any other drugstore, like actual drugstore reds that match this color, let me know. Because yeah, I realized kind of too late that this was not actually available at drugstores. Second last, we have the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in the shade Accept a Dare. I love this color. I only wear berry colors in the winter time. Like I don't even know why I don't wear them in the fall because they are fall appropriate too. But for some reason, I always just wear them and prefer them in the winter. This is such a pretty like raisin berry color. It's not too purple that I feel like it's hard to pull off. It's just such a beautiful warm berry. I really, really like it. I also love the formula from the Superstay crayons. They are comfortable, they're long wearing, they're easy to apply. It's just a great option from the drugstore. It's one of my favorite crayon formulas available and I would totally recommend it. Last lipstick is the NYX Suede Matte Lipstick in the shade Girl By. One of my favorite berries yet again. I only included two berries because these are just my two favorites. This one is more of like a muted kind of like smoky berry color. Like it's definitely more brown and more like of that deep purple. I love it. I think it's so stunning on the lips. Again, the formula is amazing. I love the NYX suede's. They, as I mentioned, they're like my favorite bullet lipstick formula at their drugstore. You just can't go wrong with a color like this. And even if you're only gonna wear it at winter time or like twice a year, I feel like it's worth it because when you wear it, you just feel so beautiful and confident and it's just such an amazing shade. I, I love Girl Buy. So that sums up this video and the first day of Christmas. I hope you guys liked my picks. Should have probably added like a little bit more of a variety. That top row is looking really boring. I hope you're excited for the 12 days of Christmas. I just wanted to thank you guys again for supporting my channel. I really appreciate you guys support. So thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos and I will see you in tomorrow's video for the second day of Christmas.